This tutorial covers how to make an M4A1 carbine. It's a, a, an assault machine gun that the Marines use, it's a replacement for the M16 and we're going to show you how to make one completely out of wood. Okay, so things you'll need are an angle grinder, sandpaper, jigsaw, cordless drill, wood glue, gloss black paint, a hammer, sawtooth blade for the grinder. You'll also need two bits of timber. The first one will be uh, a piece of 16mm MDF or craft wood, uh, 90 centimetres by 90 centimetres square, and the other piece will be 3mm craft wood, 90 centimetres by 90 centimetres square. So I'm going to explain how to build yourself a wooden M16 type gun. This is actually an M4A1 carbine. Uh, that's what it looks like obviously, as I said. Now, what you want to do first is you need to get yourself some 16mm, I'm sorry, so 3mm MDF, bigger than 84cm, because this actual particular gun is 84cm as well. You need some 16mm MDF, then I bought these from local hardware pre cut, MDF or Craftwood if you call it that in America, I don't know. And then what you want to do is you want to print out. Using Excel, this provides the way to do it. You want to print out the actual rifle to full size. And you're going to trace around that onto the wood, and then cut that shape out to be your core piece. Also, you're going to need two different types of dowel. One is half inch, and one is eight mil or ten mil. I think it's eight mil actually. I'll explain that later, but uh, I suppose is. Just over a quarter of an inch. Now this is the, the gun traced out. Be careful when you're cutting it out because after this it'll be pretty much stuffed. Um, you notice I can keep the barrel in there, that's where the dowel comes in. You do it, you're putting the barrel in later. Okay, so I'm just going to draw around that and then cut it out. But make sure when you do this that you do have a small one as a reference because when you get close to the details, some, when you enlarge the photo, sometimes it's a bit hard to see all the details. So just keep one of those as a reference point. There's the finish shot. Now, keep in mind that you want to keep the original barrel that you cut off safe, and you also want to keep the original gun that you drew around to be safe because you need the reference points for all the bits of the handle and trigger and so on. You might notice that there's no actual trigger here or trigger guard because you don't need that in a wooden gun. It doesn't shoot anything. There you have it. There's the start of it. This is quite intricate. The trick is to not hurry because if you hurry it, it ends up being messy. As you can see, it's already got something to feel like that thing that it's supposed to be. Now, what you want to do now is you want to sand the whole thing with sandpaper and file and get it all shaped beautifully before you go on to the next stage. Now that it's all sanded and shaped up so it's much smoother, we need to make the handle at the front here. We need to make the butt, we need to fill out the butt of that as well, right? And the whole point is that this is not very wide by itself, sort of thing, so it's very narrow. And the whole point of that is that that's the core piece, so you build everything on top of that to give it shape. So what we need to make here is we need to make this round section here, along the butt of the gun, on both sides. We need to fill out the handle on this end, on both sides, to give it that grip on the front of the gun that you have. We'll cut them, and we're going to round the edges off, so it was more of a rounded finish. So this piece here, for instance, will be a piece that goes along there, on both sides, and this piece here will be there on both sides, to give it some depth. And now I've got my pieces for the actual handle. I cut that and then shaped it. That will go in here like this. Like so. I'm starting to give it some depth for the handle. And the other one will go on the other side. So now when you look down the handle, you can see it's got some depth to it. just the beginning. 
Okay, I've shaped the pieces and I've glued them on. And what I've done is I've also run a series of cuts, just something to make it look like it's more of a grip on both sides. So that's the, the start of that, there like that. Now for the butt of the gun, I've cut and shaped two pieces to go on the bottom there. I've also put little nicks in the bottom there because that's what matches the original type of butt of the gun. Um, what you'll need for this kind of job is a grinder with a, a wood cutting wheel or a grinding disc that cuts wood and it'll help you get the shapes you want. Next thing you want to do is you want to make up two shapes just like this out of 3mm MDF. How you get that shape is you actually cut it from your paper template. So how it works is it goes, I've also drilled a slot here in the butt of the rifle. So that piece goes on there like that. And then this piece goes around here, like so, giving the sorry, giving the rifle a handle some depth. I've cut this out of the midsection of the gun, which actually goes here. And you're going to want to cut four of those. It gives you twice the depth, so it looks like that. That magazine is actually a real magazine. Now I just cut some grooves in the magazine to give it that authenticity. So when you've got some depth, that looks like a magazine is actually slotted in the bottom. Um, the other thing I did, uh, that's about it actually, I rounded the handle off as well, give you a better grip, more like a handle than a piece of wood. Now if you cut those four pieces, put them aside because we're going to glue it all together at the end, a side at a time, as much as you can before we do the next stage. The next piece we're going to do is here, at the base of the grip, it's a circular piece like so. I'm going to use the same material as this, but a separate piece that sits in the middle. So it's the 16mm MDF. You need two of those, one for each side. Okay, at this point, we have the beginnings of a rifle, as you can see. Now, every, both sides at this point are exactly the same. We haven't done the barrel yet, that comes later. But basically, what you need to do is start working on one side at a time, because up to, up to this point, they're both sides are the same, but after this, each side is different. So what, what I did is I actually got on the net and found a, another um, another picture of the left side of the gun, and I've got a picture of the right side, so I can work on one side at a time. So we're going to work on the side where the shells rejected, the chamber side, basically. That's what we're doing next. As you can see, we're now starting to get some shape to it. You've got the you know, the trigger chamber, that's where the shells come flying out this side. Um, it's starting to look like a an actual uh, wooden rifle. Haven't done the barrel yet, of course. I've still got more work to do up, quite a bit, a bit of more work to do up here, uh, and also, more, also uh, so some more work around here. So it's more, more about the uh, making it look as real as possible. All right, so now we've got the major parts on one side done. Okay, that's how it looks. Still got to put the barrel on, of course, but uh, you get the idea. Put screws and rivets. These are just um, decking nails that I actually cut the bottom off and nailed them in. Drilled a, drilled a pile of hole, nailed it in. These are bits of dowel, bits of 3mm craft wood dowel, a groove, thicker dowel, you know, with a handle which is the you know, pullback lever when you load it, and so on. And then I've shaped the top and shaped the end to make it look thinner, of course. So that's the end so far. The gun's just about finished. This is one side so far. And this is the other side. What I'm working on now is the barrel. Um, I've got to drill a hole in here with a dowel joint. This is the barrel so far. This is taken from a bit of Bit of dowel. So I've shaped it with a sanding wheel on a grinder. Drill the hole in the end, pull some holes in the side to give it so the light shines through so when you so it looks like the end of the barrel. This end is where the dowel's gonna go, it's not quite sander, but we can live with it. Put the dowel in there, glue, drill the hole on the other side, like that, glue it, and the barrel's done. So the gun's just about finished, so we've got to do the barrel, finish that off, put it on and then uh, a little bit of work on top and then it's all done. Then it's a matter of painting it and you'll see how it looks. Okay, this is just about the finished product now. As you can see, 
the barrels down there. And how I did the barrels, I've got a bit of dowel, I think I showed you yesterday. I've put a dowel in here and dowel in here, and I've glued it together along there, inside that. So if you look at the, the gun now, I've put just a bowl with a couple of washers up here to simulate a part of the rifle that doesn't actually work. It's part of the sight, and that's the actual part of the gun. Okay, and the other side is that. So all I have to do now is put a couple of grooves along here, just to match the other side, and put a round wooden disc inside here, so it sticks out just like a circle, to fit in that slot and glue that in, and then I'm ready to paint. And this is the finished product.